Hello everyone. Let's see if we can get this started. Hi everyone, welcome. Really excited for today's live. Let me just get this ready. Hey Sabrina and Carol. Hello everyone, welcome. So I don't know if you guys watched my latest video. I did a little unboxing of my Feature Craft kit and add-on stamp sets. Hi everyone, hi Wendy, Anna, everybody, hello and welcome. And I finished my son's France album at last. <laughs> it's about time. It was a year in making, but I do have to say that um, I kind of neglected it. So it wasn't like I worked on it uh, daily or anything like that. It was just something that I kept aside and then finished it up. And I'm actually really happy that I waited because that kit from Feature Craft was perfect to finish my album. That sounds awesome. Finishing up a traveler's notebook. Hello, hello and welcome. From the Netherlands, Mariska. That's so awesome. Thank you so much, Mariska. Okay, so what I thought I would do was do a flip through of my finished France album. And I might work on my project life. I'm really behind my project life. So I want to work on that. Maybe you guys can help me out. Um, so actually before I start, I did want to mention a few reminds. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram. If you don't, you should. I do share a lot of close-ups of things that I created here on YouTube and also like, um, things that I usually don't record. So you should be following me on Instagram and it's at Hiba Al Sabai. But I wanted to talk about what I posted on Instagram. I have a giveaway for Studio Calco's Summer of Sketches class. I love that class and I recommend it. I have a spot to give away and you win any traveler's notebook of your choice, as long as it's in stock. So definitely check out that post. It's uh, posted in my Instagram feed and just all you have to do is leave a comment there. And I think it closes tomorrow at noon Eastern time. So I would love it if you guys went over there just, you know, in case you want to take that class, it's a lot of fun. And if you don't win, I still recommend that class. I will be contributing to that class. I think I have like three lessons in there. It's a lot of fun. Um, also, I wanted to mention that Persnickety Prince is having a sale next week. So if you're not following them, definitely recommend checking out their latest post. And um, I think they're selling their 4 by 8 prints. I, usually, I think they're $1.29. But now, or next week, they're having that sale for three days. And it's 79 cents a print. You guys, you can't beat that. I love their four by eights. That's where I get mine printed. And now they're offering like a white border as well. So definitely recommend to check it out. But enough of that. I think I talked about everything I wanted to mention. And I'm going to do a flip through of my album. So I just like stamped out this Eiffel Tower on my little label and added 2019. I think that Eiffel Tower is from Kelly Perky. But I know a lot of companies, it might be sold out, but a lot of companies do have like Paris stamp sets. I just thought it was cute, so I went with it. Um, started my album with a vellum piece. By the way, I have due process videos here on my YouTube channel. Once this live goes up, I will link the process videos if you're interested to see how these layouts came together. But I started with a vellum piece stamped out France 2019 and added this acrylic piece from Colorcast Design. Well, Ali Lath is really busy. I let him have 
friends over. <laughs> Not really over. They're sitting outside in the front yard, social distancing. And he's so excited because he hasn't seen his friends for a while, but they're just sitting out there chatting and catching up. So I doubt he's going to come up here, but we'll see if they leave earlier, then I'll definitely let him play for you guys. I used six by eight photos. I am using a six by eight um, album here. So I used a six by eight photo. I love this photo of all the kids that went to France. And I added a geotag right where my son was standing or sitting. Well, he was sitting on someone's shoulders. That's why you can kind of see him. But I love little geotags to add to large photos like this. When you have a lot of people in one photo, you kind of pinpoint who you're documenting. But I'm out of geotags. And I actually was talking to one of my followers on Instagram and subscriber here on YouTube and was just curious to find small geotags because I ran out. So if any of you guys know where I can find small geotags, wood veneers, embellishment, whatever the case is, please let me know. Um, oh, really, Amy? I did not know that. That's interesting. I need to talk to Jessica. So it's only like order. You just order it and she cuts them out. It kind of makes sense. Uh, oh, I didn't even see that either, Christy. I will definitely check out Colorcast Design. Freckled Fawn does have some, but they're pretty big. And I want like something small, something like that. If that's possible. Yeah, Ali, he needed some time with friends for sure. It's been hard on the kids. Okay, so back to my album. What I like to do when I'm working in a travel album is break down the days if I can. I find it easier to document by day and I think it makes more sense when you're looking through your travel album. So what I did was I used Colorcast Designs uh, week acrylics or days of the week acrylics and started, you know, just going by each day and adding the day to either a photo or a card or anything like that. I used a lot of the travel themed collection from Pink Fresh. I think it was done by In a Creative Bubble. And I also used a lot of acrylics, as you can see. I love these large six by eight photos because all you have to do is just kind of add a little something to it and it makes it just pop. I really like that. I love this photo of the kids at the airport. And I took a lot of screenshots of where my son's at. Kind of, we share like where, what is it called? Like our, uh, oh my gosh, I forgot what it's called. But like the iPhone gives you where you can share your location with your family. And we all share locations. So while he was in France, I was able to kind of see where he's at and just take screenshots. I thought it would be fun to add in his album. So he went to France 2019 to play at the D-Day Parade, the 75th, I think, anniversary of the D-Day Parade. So um, it was so much fun for them. And they were in Normandy the first day. So I think they flew into Normandy. And I just, you know, kept it simple keeping it basic. I tried to add in anything he brought home. So he brought home this postcard. So I just punched holes in it and added it in there. Uh, it's just a nice little cute touch there. Uh, let's see. 2 a.m. Wow. Thank you for joining in. Love the Philippines. I say this all the time. I do have a Philippines process travel album video probably have like four or five of them. We really enjoyed ourselves in the Philippines. My husband and kids and I went to the Philippines. We are in day, I think this was their fourth day or no, the second maybe. Anyway, it's Thursday. So this is the day they got to like celebrate and they went to the cemetery. Oh my God, I can't say it. <laughs> Sorry. The cemetery, that's what I'm trying to say. And um, it was very emotional for them. 
I did use uh, some four by eight papers from my stash. Anything that had like travel related, anything like that, I made sure to use that. Okay, then we're in Friday here. This is, I believe, not yet. See, now I'm confused. By the way, if you saw any like pages that didn't have anything like backing them up, those are supposed to be his journaling pages. So let's see how long it's going to take him to do that. I also, like I said, used some four by eights and this one's a three by eight. But what I did was I trimmed it down a little bit because I really liked that map and used a geotag to kind of pinpoint where they're at and just backed it up with a photo. I had an extra photo, so I trimmed it down a little bit. Also like backed it up with a four by eight. So that was kind of perfect. You guys know me. I don't like to throw anything away and I like to use what I can. I believe here they were practicing before they started marching. And Saturday, they traveled to Paris. So they left Normandy, went to Paris. A lot of these pictures are from my son, either from my son, uh, chaperones. I knew most of the moms that were going and chaperoning and their band directors. So they shared them. They told us we can use them. They were so sweet. So these beautiful photos, um, actually one of their band directors, is his photos were amazing. So uh, that was perfect. And the selfies are my son, <laughs> most of them. Uh, let's see. That's actually a really good idea, Stephanie, printing the geotags, because then you can kind of make them as small as you want. I might do that as well. So I had these really old foam stickers from Amy Tan. I was so happy to use them because like I said, they were so old and sitting in my stash. So these larger photos, I used some of those foam stickers. I just added this happened. And on this uh, large, I think this is a six by 12, if I'm not mistaken. No, not a six by 12, eight by 12. Anyways, I used one of those foam stickers as, as well and added a large title to this uh, photo here. Now this photo was a, what are they called? Panoramic photos. So it kind of looks offish, but I still used it because everybody was in that picture. So it had to go in his album. And large photos like that, love them in mini albums because they just add a big pop. Uh, the cemetery photo, which was the one I couldn't even pronounce. Okay, there, this one. Um, Persnickety Prince. I actually have a video here on my channel about Persnickety Prince, and I printed all these photos through Persnickety Prince. They are awesome. The quality is amazing. I say this all the time, and they have fast shipping. No joke, like basically two day shipping. <laughs> Not that fast, but no, for real, like I'll order something and two, three days later, I'll have my package, which is pretty awesome. Okay. So, uh, I think we're still in the same day here where they're in Paris. So they got to go to the museum, a lot of photos of the kids, keeping it simple. Again, I did create my own kit. I always find it easier to work with what you have on hand. Like not have to go through your own stash and have everything ready beforehand. That way things come together quickly. Again, I share that in my process videos. Um, let me see this chat. What are you guys talking about? Oh yes, it's, well actually, is it Memorial Day weekend this weekend? No, I think it's next weekend. Yeah, that's pretty awesome, Karen. Okay, so... You know, I, I know there's like stickers of geotags, but I prefer something with a dimension, like a, I don't know, wood veneers or something like that. Or chipboard, maybe, puffy stickers. I mean, I could go with stickers, but I think um, I like that added dimension. 
Okay, so again, another three by eight, which was a four by eight, and I just trimmed it down a little bit. I had this um, printed at Persnickety Prints again, and these were just a bunch of selfies uh, that my son took at the museum. And, you know, it makes it, I don't know, easier when you add all your photos together and you're not printing four or five selfies, if that makes sense. I think this takes less space, easier to document like a moment, but you don't like, I just wanted to document all the selfies that he sent me, but at the same time, it would have taken up a lot of spreads in my layout, uh, in my album. So it just made sense to do this. And I like the like added little pockets, backed it up with another three by eight paper here. That would probably work as well, Amy. I, I think that would help like doing the embossing, but I have to say, I hate embossing and embossing powder. I probably have two embossing powders. I, I don't know, it just, I feel like it takes up too much time to do and I never get it right. I'm horrible at it. Uh, let's see. I'm going to have to check out Jessica's new acrylic geotags. Again, I did a lot of collages. I used pick frame to do my collages again, because I had so many photos from him sent to me. Um, I didn't want to take up too many, too much space in my album. So definitely I recommend doing something like that. Collages is perfect. And I believe a lot of, by the way, a lot of these cards are either Kelly Perky or Studio Calico and the embellishments were from the Pink Fresh collection. Anyway, whatever I mentioned in my lives, I always try to link them later on down in the description box. I actually did the same thing, but with photos of food. He was in love with everything he ate, took pictures. This kid is so good at this stuff. Um, I taught him well, so he sent me pictures of what he was eating for the day. My son did vlogs, you guys. That's how good it, he was at it. So he did vlogs, sent me videos. So, so good. Um, I did this on one of my lives where he had this bag, shopping bag, and he just thought it was the cutest thing. So what I decided to do was try to figure out a way how to add it to his album. And I just trimmed it down, kept the little, um, what is it called? The bag handle or whatever. And just basically added holes and added it into my album. I think it's a fun little touch. I really didn't want to cover the faces. That's one thing he really wanted in his album. So just adding it in there adds, you know, some cuteness to the album and something he wanted. So that worked out perfectly created a cluster next to my photo here. Uh, there was a lot of Eiffel Tower photos. Uh, tried to keep it down to a few in my album, but it's just so beautiful. And we start into Sunday here. So I added my acrylic piece. So I added this bag. This is an old Studio Calico pouch. This is what you would get your kits in back in the day. And I tried to find something that I could add. Okay, let me show you. So he had like little cards, receipts, tags for his luggage, all that good stuff. And I looked and looked, I didn't have anything that worked. So I, th and I wanted something that I made sure it was secure and wouldn't fall out because it's his album. I know he's gonna lose things. So I thought it was smart to just trim the, bottom portion and then I just used washi tape. I mean, it's not the prettiest, but I was able to add all those little things that he came home with and, you know, use up these pouches. I have so many of these pouches, you guys, I can't even explain it. I've been with Studio Calico since like 2012 or 11. So it's been a while. I have a lot of these pouches. I even give away a lot of them to my friends. So I think it worked out perfectly. 
This is where actually um, I started working with Feature Crafts kit. Um, this kit sold out, I think, and it sold out fast. It was a good kit, but I thought it was perfect to finish my album here. And I used the whole kit to kind of document these last few pages in my album. Again, keeping things simple, just trying to be cohesive and um, stick with my acrylic pieces to kind of show what day it is. And I think this was Monday where, no, they didn't leave yet. They leave on Tuesday. So I just kind of documented the photos I had, added a lot of, of the dies from that kit, I even made a four by eight layout front and back created this cluster using those dies from the kit. And I was even able to use my four by eight papers as well. I think that four by eight is from Kelly Perky, but I just love it. I love the new alpha stamp from Feedercraft as well. It's gorgeous. It's a new favorite and they're leaving. I didn't have a Tuesday, I think acrylic piece. No, because I used it in the beginning because they left on a Tuesday to France and then they left France on a Tuesday. So they stayed seven days, but um, that's okay. It's not a big deal. Just documented them leaving to the airport, him coming home, things like that. And finished up my album with an Eiffel Tower photo because I had the two three by fours and one four by six. I trimmed down my photo. I'm okay with that. It was a six by eight. It still looks great. And I just completed my album. So excited. I might give this to him. He knows I'm working on this album because I've asked him plenty of times to finish up his journaling, but I think I might give this to him on his graduation day. I think it would be nice and fun for him to kind of look through it and remember his trip to France as a junior in high school. So that is my son's France album. I like the bag. I think it's, you know, with the washi wasn't perfect. I tried to use my fuse tool, but it wouldn't stick, I guess, because the bag has like this mesh in it. So I'm just going with the washi tape. <laughs> yeah, Karen, all these types of pouches work for sure. And I think because I have so many of these, it just worked out perfectly. I always say this, Sabrina, that Feature Craft sells out so fast. I always tell pe people to add a reminder um, for that day, purchase it right away. I mean, I do that for other companies. I always add like reminds and I go in there and purchase things right away before they sell out. Um, I doubt she will, Sabrina. Usually Feature Craft doesn't bring it back kits. She might bring back stamps, but not kits. I might be wrong, but I know you can purchase the digital, if, you know, if that interests you. Oh, Stephan Stephanie, you're talking about her relaunching. She kept a few kits she held back on a few kits just in case people who can't purchase them right now, they can purchase them later. I believe so. Okay. So that is a flip through of my album that I finished. And what I thought I would work on today with you guys is, let's see a spread in my project life. So I'm kind of behind on project life. I think this is week 14 that I want to work on. I have to double check before I do anything. But what I wanted to do was use talking about sold out real quick. Kelly Perky launched swag bags that had three by four cards and she had traveler's notebook cards or papers about like quarantining, staying at home, things like that. She sold out so fast. Again, I put a remind 
I think I was probably the first people on her website purchased all the things. I didn't even look. I was just adding to my cart, grabbed what I wanted. I even grabbed double of things because I like her stuff so much. So I grabbed whatever I could and she basically came on like 15 minutes later on Instagram and said that everything sold out within like eight minutes, which is crazy. So that's why I always recommend to add a remind for yourself. But I purchased the swag bags and the swag bags came with stickers, really cute dyes as well. And I thought it would be fun to use them in my project life today. So I have them set in one of my little pouches and I actually already chose one card, added my journaling to it because I knew I wanted to use this journaling card but then we'll go through these to figure out what I want to use on my spread. Oh, let me fix my, is that straight? Okay, I think now we're straight. So I'm gonna be using this card for sure. I already added my journaling on there, but I printed my photos and I'm gonna go ahead, maybe do something like that. When I work in my project life, I really try not to overthink it. And I always try to kind of stick to what I know, if that makes sense. If you haven't taken my Pocket Pages 101 class, I totally recommend it. I go into details on how I create my Pocket Pages. I've been doing this since 2011 or 12. I even share my older albums in that class just to kind of give you know the students a look into how I found my style so I definitely recommend it especially if you're a beginner but it's a class for everybody I love that class it's my pride and joy <laughs> so anyways sorry about the door like I said my son has his friends over so he's coming in and out grabbing water things like that uh, you're very welcome Sabrina I think the digital is perfect you can print them as much as you want which is awesome. Uh, Fabi, it's really hard for them to restock, especially that they're such a small business. And it's like, you know, you sometimes if you restock, you don't sell them and then you get stuck with extra kits. So I totally understand why they don't. They're not a big business to have hundreds and hundreds of kits on hand. Okay, so like I said, I really want to use this and it just says on my walk. So my daughter and I, which actually I want to switch these over. My daughter and I went on this walk and the streets were empty. There was like nobody there and it just, I don't know, it just felt weird. So I want to document that. I'll probably add that three by four there because I'm going to have to make my own four by six because those swag bags did not come with four by sixes. So I'm okay with making my own. Yeah, that's a good idea too, Sabrina. Maybe in the future she'll start doing that. I like having the digitals because sometimes there's that certain card that you want more than once. You wanna use it more than once. So it's perfect to have the digitals. So anyways, um, I really like this one. I do want red in my spread because my son's socks here are red. So that one's a good one to have. I'm just gonna start going through my cards to see what works. So if I'm gonna stick to red, um, I want to choose cards that match the red and also match you know, what I'm documenting or what I'm talking about. And there was like vellum pieces as well in that swag bag, which is pretty cool. I like that what day it is or what day is it because I've lost count. My kids too. And you're going to see doubles, by the way, like the quarantine. Um, because like I said, I did buy doubles of some of the swag bags. Oh, I like that. That one would work as well. There's that stay safe and healthy. That's really cute like that one. And I also bought those little journaling cards, which is one of those right there. Those were perfect, but I don't want, I want some color in there. 
that's pretty purple. You have like grocery list. I think she has everything on pre-order if I'm not mistaken. So if you guys are interested, love this. What? I like that one a lot. Okay, so I'm just going back into, there's a lot of repeats. That toilet paper, can you spare a square? That's so cute. So that one's cute too. Uh, I like that, the science we trust. Again, toilet papers, really, really adorable. Uh, yeah, now Kelly has those on pre-order, I believe. And I think Everyday Explorer has some of hers on pre-order as well. You know what? Um, I forgot to do a flip through of my Project Life 2019. Isn't that funny? I thought of that the other day and I actually went back into my channel to check and I did not do a flip through. I might do that. Maybe I'll do it live. I hate doing flip throughs of my albums. I never know what to talk about. <laughs> and especially because I have process videos for most of them, but I can do that. Uh, what swag? Diane, what are you talking about? Where's the swag noted? Thank you so much. Yeah, me too. I love, she's always like, her cards are so cute and funny and I don't think a lot of the companies do that. They're starting to, but Kelly Perkies is like on point. Love that one. It really does feel like number 845 days at home. Shower or not to shower, that is the question. I think these are also cute, but I'm, I like the blue too, but it's, it's not, I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, so. Let me see the ones I had chosen. This one works because I have my little snack photo here, or we baked some cookies, my daughter and I. I uh, love the vellum, but it needs something more. I think I need red here. Back is white. Let's kind of bring in the red. Let's see if I move things around, Let's see if this looks any better. I just want to balance my red here. And that card with the socks was kind of too much red. I think I like this. I think I'm going to go with that. Oh, Kelly Perky had swag bags. She was selling swag bags and the bags had cards and stickers, all that good stuff on her website. Yeah, I think summer that she was going to shut down, but with the quarantining and everything, she was going to travel and then decided that she would still be making things right now. So it's good for us, I guess. So I want to move this aside and start walk working on my pages here. So this is going to be a little bit difficult just because I like to not work on my pages, like right on my page. I like to have them kind of off a little bit so I have space to kind of work on the side. That probably still not gonna work much. Okay, let's do rearranging, you guys. Okay, maybe that gives me a little bit more space. There we go. Okay, so I might use this card to add my week on there. You know, it's funny, I told my son not to keep coming in and out and he's doing it right now, which is really annoying. So I might stamp, I think it's week 14. Let me double check. Yeah, it's week 14. So I need something really, really small to stamp week 14 here. And that's not a problem because I do have a lot of small Kelly Perky alphas. So maybe I can use that one. Let's see what else I have. 
This one's kind of big. Okay, I think this one works. <laughs> they sure can be annoying. It's like you tell them something and they, they're like, yeah, yeah, okay. And then they totally do the opposite, which is uh, so aggravating. But it's okay. So I'm just, I'm going to end up just stamping the WK because even though these are small, they're not small enough. So and that, I'm okay with that. So I'm going to stamp that. On the mask. Loving this so so much. So cute. And this is why I always say this like stamps go a long way. If you're gonna put money uh, definitely go with stamps. So let's do that. So, got that. Hello everyone. Hi Stephanie. Welcome. Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep it as is. I don't want to add anything else. I don't want to overdo it. So what I can do here is probably add a die. Oops. She had in that, I think these were in the swag bag, if I'm not mistaken. She had a lot of these dies as well. And they all like fit well with quarantining and things like that. So let's see if I can find something in red that kind of works with that one works all together. Let's see. Quarantine baking. Perfect for my little photo here. <laughs> and this is what I love about kits like this, especially like if you're working on, I don't know, something specific. These types of kits really help kind of move things along. Let's see if I can find something. Even if I added like that yellow, that would work as well. Um, but I don't see, oh, daily walk in yellow. That works. Oops. I don't know why it's sticking to my fingers. That actually works perfectly. Maybe I'll just do that. Thank you, Karen. I think that mask was perfect to like stamp the week in there. And I, I don't have a problem like changing it up every week. I sometimes, I think I'm going to be sharing a project life spread next week. And I even forgot to stamp my week. So I went back in and stamped out my week. I do share it in the video, but so I don't mind changing it up and not having everything look the same throughout my weeks. So I like that week or that daily walk. Let's see if there's any of the stickers that work. She had really cute stickers as well. Um, I could use one of those faces as well. Let's keep that here. So maybe I can use one of these. Like that. And stick that down. I will have to go back in and add the date. That does not look centered at all. Okay. I think that looks pretty cute. And all I'm going to do now is just use some washi tape to stick these together. I don't need something, you know, major to stick these together because they're going into a pocket. So I'm going to make sure I have these 
whoops, now I'll stick on my fingers. And I have a four by six card. Perfect. Uh, let's see. That's so sweet, Karen. <laughs> I totally understand. Okay, I want, I shared a few days ago, maybe yesterday, on Instagram, I use this picture in my traveler's notebook. I don't mind using the same picture in my traveler's notebook in my project life. I always feel like project life is for the whole family, but my traveler's notebooks are for me. So if I like a picture, I want to remember it. I'll use it in both projects. And I did stamp out empty streets. I think that's what I stamped out on that picture in my traveler's notebook. So I'm thinking maybe to do that again here. And I did journal about this picture on this card. So I don't feel like I need to add any journaling to this, but I do need to find the right size alphas to fit empty streets in there. So actually, hold on. Maybe I can use Feature Crafts new alphas that came out this week. They're so good. And of course, it would be nice if I found them. So this is my problem with newer products that I get. I always end up like leaving them out so I can remember to use them more. <laughs> and then I forget where I added them or what I, where I put them. And see, now I can't find my alphas. Oh, actually, I found them. There we go. Tammy, you're not late. You're good. I'll always like put, repost my lives so you can like rewatch it. Um, I think these might work. I think it will fit and they're bold, which makes me very, very happy because I want something bold for that. I want it to kind of stand out. So what I'm going to do, I might just stamp them on white cardstock. It's not cardstock, it's just white paper. This one's actually grid, which is fine with me. So I think I'm just gonna do that and I'll just like fussy cut them out so they can pop. I don't know, should I stamp it straight on my photo? I don't know, I feel like it will stand out more if I, what do you guys think? Should I stamp it directly on my photo or stamp it on some white cardstock and add it to my photo? I feel like the white would help bring in, you know, I have a lot of white cards here, so it would kind of stand out. Because like if you stamp it on white paper, you can see like it kind of stands out nicely. Or should I just stamp it? I can stamp one on my photo and if I don't like it I can cover it with oh wait I don't use this ink on my photos I use the archival ink on my photos let's grab that okay so let's try it out directly and on white Ah, it actually looks really good. Actually, I think I like that more. <laughs> so just try it, you guys. I'm going to stamp out empty streets. A picture here. Anyway, it saves me an extra step. But look, you guys are telling me to stamp it on the paper. I like that. You guys don't like that? I think it looks cool directly on my photo. So let's see. I am kind of behind, like I told you guys, on my project life. 
but I say this all the time, it doesn't like freak me out because I can finish a spread in 15 minutes if I wanted to. And it really doesn't take me that long. I recommend you try it because when you're working on something that's weekly or even monthly, you want to like, you know, get it done, not overthink it. And, um, if you keep, you know, stressing about it, it just makes it worse. And then you're not enjoying your project or the process. So, you know, keep it simple, keep it easy. You really just want to document those photos and that's about it. It's not about how long it takes you. I don't know if the street's going to fit in there, by the way. But that's my dilemma all the time, isn't it? Yeah, 2016 is definitely behind. <laughs> but that's still okay. Keep it simple. And you will definitely catch up, believe me. I did my kids' baby albums. I hadn't done them in a project life. My kids' baby albums were just basic albums where I had like a little bit of journaling and a photo. I went through all of them a few years ago and did them project lifestyle. Kept it extremely, extremely simple. And I love them. They are some of my favorite albums that I've ever done. And I finished them pretty quickly. Okay. Then Phoebe, you need to um, take my class because I talk about that in my class, by the way, about how to print, how to figure out the sizes and all that stuff. And I only print before I work on my projects. I think when you print so many photos and you have them laying out, it's really stressful. It stresses you out more because you're like, oh my gosh, I have all these photos and I haven't even worked on them. But if you stamp week by week, um, it makes more sense. That way you're not overwhelmed. And the smaller, like the smaller your album, the better. <laughs> Even though I used to work in 12 by 12 and I love my 12 by 12s. And this is basically kind of like a 12 by 12 because the six by 12s, two of them create a 12 by 12. But um, you just have to find your groove. I could do a flip through of the baby album. I'm trying to think if there's pictures of problem with my kids, school albums, things like that. There's a lot of like personal stuff, like school names and friends that, you know, um, that they're not friends with anymore. So I don't want to like kind of post their pictures without asking if that makes sense. I know you're probably saying, but you always post your kids' friends. My kids' friends today are okay with it, uh, all of them. So if one of the kids in a picture I don't know well or is the focus of the picture, I don't you like share it. So I try to just stick to friends, people I know. Um, and like the France album, there's loads of kids in there, so it's not big deal and everybody was sharing pictures so it's not a big deal if that makes sense <laughs> that's okay even if your kids are 9 and 12 I'm telling you I only did my kids albums recently um, a few years ago so they did have albums but they weren't like you know great albums so just you know there's no age or time limit. Oh, that's awesome, Karen. Almost there. <laughs> um, I did not purchase from Snapfish. I don't like those types of 
companies. Well, I don't want to say I don't like because I don't use them. But in the past, I used, I'm not going to say the name of the company, and that happened to me. So the way they print, I don't know how. They're not familiar with scrapbookers, obviously. And what we do, that's why I always recommend Persnickety Prints, because the owner is a scrapbooker as well. And the amount of different sizes that you can choose from, and if you wanted a border or don't want a border, that's the company to go with. That's my recommendation, but I'm not familiar with the others. You're okay, Natalie. Welcome to our live. Oh, that's so cute. Kindergarten graduation, that's adorable. Yeah, it doesn't matter how old your kids are to like start an album for them. I'm sure when my kids are in college, I'll be still working on al albums for them. And now even sometimes I think about how I'm going to be documenting my son in college because I still want to document his college years. So he's going to have to be really, really good at sending pictures, giving me info, things like that. So um, this is really cute, but very plain. So what I'm thinking, I have a baking stamp. Let's see if we can find that baking stamp because I don't remember if there was cookies on that baking stamp. Oh, and I actually also have a stamp set from Kelly Perky. I know this for sure. And I think it has a cookie on there. And um, it was maybe like a snacking. Oh, what was that stamp called? It was, it had something to do with snacking. Actually, let me check real quick. I think it was like, oh, uh, you know, don't you hate it when you know what you're talking about, but you can't <laughs> remember certain things about it? Let's see. Oh man, I can't find it. But I could swear it was like all about snack time. Let me grab that box, hold on. Okay, so I have to bring it up close because these are my three by fours for Kelly Perky. And I double up in the same like envelope. So what I mean is like I put two three by fours in there. So, and I do write the names of them, but sometimes I forget the name of the stamp set. There we go. See, I had to bring it. It's called Late Night Snack. And I was just looking at snacking or trying to find snacking. Okay. And it does have a cookie, which is perfect. So what I could do is probably like stamp a background. Stamp a cookie. Let's see, we're just going with the flow and let's see what we like. So I'll probably stamp in black. I'm missing out on the chat. Um, I do remember my stamps, I sure do. Not all the time, sometimes I'll find a stamp and I'm like, why haven't I been using the stamp? But the stamps that I really, really love which is most of them, <laughs> I remember. Hi, Diana from the Netherlands. Welcome. Okay, so let's stamp this cookie here. So I'm either gonna end up with one cookie stamp or I will add more. Let's see if I like this. I just want to find, um, love this, the sugar cookie ink from scrapbook.com. It's like the perfect kind of nudish color. It just adds a hint. Isn't that adorable? Like, come on, you guys, like that stamp is just so cute. 
I don't even think I need to add anything else. Maybe just like a few. Oh my gosh, because the cookie stamp is so cute. Okay, I think I'm going to add a few more. Like I said, it's too cute not to. So let's do that. I'll just stamp a couple more. Two is enough. Like off the edge. so adorable. And again, I always like recommend these ink pads for you guys. Oh man, I had black on my stamp. That's okay. Um, I always recommend scrapbook.com's ink pads. Now they have like the black on it and I think it's not from my stamp. I think it's from my dirty, dirty <laughs> Look how dirty my chamois is. That's so gross. Do you think I need a new one? I think it's picking up what's on here, which is nasty. So, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. I say this all the time. Anyways, that's that. I think that is cute enough. I don't know if I like the white right above each other. I'll have to think about that. So my son got his UGA socks. It's a big deal. And I might see if I have a sticker here that would go well. Obviously we were in quarantine. I like the every little thing is gonna be all right. Or the rainbow would work as well because it kind of made his day. Those could work for sure. Let me see if I have something else here. I think I think I like that, that everything is gonna be all right. Or maybe I could just add a heart. What do you guys think? The heart, the mask. Oh, like with the, that one also would work, yep, actually. Let's do that. That's a good one, Karen. I like that. So my daughter did some pressure washing, her and I. I think I talked about this on my last live. So we worked, her and I. Maybe there's something in here that I can use. But you know what, I used that dye up here, so I don't wanna repeat myself. Let's see if we have they also came, like in that swag bag, there was a lot of larger stickers. Let's see. I don't, the larger stickers, for some reason, I don't use much in my project life. I usually use them in um, like my planner and my daily journal. I don't know if you guys saw these, but this, you guys, I can't even, I can't, <laughs> it's hilarious. I always say orange is definitely not the new black. So maybe one of these would work. That one probably, the rainbow. Or is that too big? Because there are smaller rainbows. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. So smaller rainbow or a larger rainbow? What y'all think? I think that rainbow is just so big, but that's me. I always like have a hard time using the larger rainbows. So this large one, let me trim around it. It just looks so big with the paper backed up. So it would be like that pretty big or we go with smaller rainbow. I don't like the large one. I'm just going to go with my gut on this and go with the smaller rainbow. 
I like that more. In my project life, I just don't like the large things. Um, this little girl here always wants to nap before she does her chores. Always. It's like a non-ending discussion, her and I. It drives me nuts, but I decided to snap a picture of her laziness and maybe I can find something. I don't think I saw anything in the cards from Kelly Perky that kind of mentioned chores or anything. Oh, you know what? Now I just remembered. I used Studio Calico's latest subscription stamp to document this photo in my traveler's notebook. So I might uh, use that. Let me grab it. Yeah, I used this one last time to document this lazy bum here. Uh, I can't even remember the font size, honestly. I'll try to look it up for you. If you want to ask me that on Instagram, like DM me on Instagram and I'll look it up for you. So maybe I can just... Like, be sarcastic and stand up time to get to work. Rising grind could work as well. Or today's chores nap. Because this girl, I'm telling you. Let's try that, actually. I think this would work. It would look cute. Even though it's at the moment, it's not cute at all. <laughs> And if you have teens, you know what I'm talking about. It's like pulling teeth, trying to get them to do anything. They always have the, like, a backup on why they shouldn't be doing what they should be doing. So I was like, oh, because you said I can start at this time. Or because you didn't tell me exactly you wanted, like, what you exactly wanted. So it's always like a, they always find a way out of it. Yeah, you would think that the nap would come after chores, not before. <laughs> and then they're always questioning like, did you add something to my chores? I'm like, no. Are you sure? Are you sure it's not late day today? But I have to say, when she does them, she does them really well. She goes all out. So that's a good thing. It covers up the not doing it on time. Okay, so I might just add the today's chore and maybe just stamp nap or use my alpha stickers to add nap or something. So I might just add this. I don't want to add way too much. And then I'll add nap. Um, I'm looking through my alphas. I just use some of my Kelly Perky here. Wait, that doesn't look straight, by the way. now and then just add nap. One thing I hate about alpha stickers is running out of your vowels and when you pull out the centers of your alphas in that little sticky thing, oh my gosh you guys sometimes I find them on my toes <laughs> and I find them on my clothes. I'll be out and about and I look down wearing my flip-flops or something or my sandals and I see one stuck to my toe or something just hilarious. Crafter's life. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, Fabi, you should. You should feel bad for your mom. <laughs> Start doing your chores. I was, but I have to tell you, Allie, I'm not saying this because it's we're talking about myself. 
But if you ask my mom, out of her five kids, she will tell you that I was the quietest, the nicest, and I never gave her a hard time. <laughs> so that makes me proud. And I love it when my mom says it to my kids because she always mentions it to my kids that Hiba was the easiest of all my kids. So they're always like, yeah, yeah, right, right. And my mom's like, no, I'm not lying. I'm not kidding. <laughs> so that makes me happy. Uh, let me see. I love Sarah's channel as well. And by the way, Sarah, you shared the paper for the Traveler's Notebook. Thank you so, so much. And I purchased some and I trimmed them down. I want to use them to cover some of my pages in my Traveler's Notebook. The paper is awesome. If you guys want some good paper to make your own Traveler's Notebook, check out Sarah's channel here on YouTube. She shares some really good tips and the paper she found. Yes, washi tape as well. I always find washi tape too stuck to my clothes. <laughs> By the way, my sister says that too. She says, my mom, mom would never say that about me. So you're in the same boat as my sister. Sarah's spreads are beautiful. Okay, I think I don't want to add anything else. I mean, could add a white heart over here just to bring in some of the white here. I tend to that, oh look, that works perfect. Actually, it's a white striped red heart. And basically, like that's it. I don't wanna overdo it. Especially that, like I said, I'm behind, so I want to kind of keep up I'm trying to get this straight on camera. It's really hard to do for some reason. Okay, so this is week 14. I do have photos printed for week 15 because I did want to kind of try to catch up this weekend on my spreads. So do you guys still want me to work in my project life or would you like me to work in my uh, creative memories, the happy album? layout or I could work in my traveler's notebook. I also have photos printed for those as well. I did a lot of photo printing this past week because I really wanted to catch up on things. So everybody here is telling me right now we got three project life. So um project life. Okay, so I think we're sticking to project life. So maybe I'll slip these in here and just start working on another project life layout. Maybe we can use the same kit from Kelly Perky, the swag bags, or I could use the latest kit from Studio Calico. Maybe we'll go both. And that way, um, oh, this is upside down. By the way, I have also been punching holes. I think somebody asked me, I can't remember, maybe on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, um, asked me about Studio Calico's page protectors and they're having a hard time with the holes that they're too tight or too small. And I've basically been using my little punch here. Whoops to punch the holes bigger. This is why I love this like circle punch or hole punch because you can choose whatever size you want and then you, I just literally slide this in and punch it out. So it makes the holes larger and when you're flipping through your album, it's not hard to flip through. The smaller holes I did notice it makes flipping through your album harder. So I've been using this uh, punch here for that. I sure will, Karen. I'll definitely like add a link for it. So let's start working. I'm gonna grab another page protector real quick. I 
as always, I always link everything I share and use with you guys. So I have these pictures printed for week 15. So this is the week where my son had a friend over, puzzle time, Animal Crossing, and a FaceTime photo with my mama and sisters. So maybe I'll put that one there. But that's a lot of green there. So back to the original. Try, let's get this straight as possible. So I think, yeah, Ali, the punch, it's amazing. I love that punch. It's so good, Sarah. Um, it's pricey, I have to say, but sometimes with tools, I don't mind spending a lot of money or a little bit more money if it works and it helps. I just love that it has different size holes that you can punch out. It makes the process so much easier and it's heavy. I will say that this sucker is heavy. I don't know if it's because of the mechanism over here that they have to have it this heavy but you could definitely kill someone with this i don't know why they have it so so heavy but i think it's perfect and it has all those different size holes love it i'll link it for you guys okay so let's move on either i'm gonna use my studio calico kit here or we could still use kelly perky's um, cards. I, I, I love Kelly Perky's cards just because it's like the whole theme of staying at home and stuff. Um, makes sense. But maybe actually this is what we can do. Maybe I'll use Studio Calico's 4x6's if there's one that I like because those don't come with 4x6 even though I don't mind making my own but that is so so pretty. And the squeeze the day actually is so pretty. I don't know if it looks good with the the green grass. And the happy works as well. I think I like this, but I don't like the blue. But that squeeze the day just works really well. But yeah, I mean, look at that. It's so pretty, you guys with the yellow in the background. Let's see. It's either either or. Okay, so let's go through this. The quarantine, that works really well. I honest to God did not do this on purpose. I printed this picture this way because it was a screenshot from my camera, like my phone. And if you've ever taken a screenshot of your FaceTime, you can't get it to fit properly in a square or a three by four. You'll lose somebody. I don't know why. Maybe because of the screen for the iPhone. That really, really works. Um, maybe I'll use that. But I also saw earlier when I was going through this, like that six feet apart, um, I saw something that had to do with FaceTime. You know, Carol, I actually looked up that day. I was trying to find something to replace that stamp pad. Um, I couldn't find anything, but I'm on a mission. I promised to find something Oh, this one. I promise to find something and share very soon. Hopefully I can find something for you guys to replace that. I was looking at this earlier and I thought this worked perfectly with my photo. It says trying not to spend 95% of FaceTime calls looking at myself, even though I don't, <laughs> but I think that's funny. But using this, that's too much white. I could move this here or flip it but then I don't like that with this so it's okay I'll go through this or I could flip that actually have this in white 
and flip this over. Something like that. What do you guys think? Maybe. Keeping it there for now. And see if I find anything else. Oh, what date is it is really good. Oh, but if I use that green, then I can't use that. And this is basically how I do it. I just go through my cards. You know what? I'm ditching this. Um, I really like this, the six feet apart. I might have to change that out or the six feet apart in red. So it just works with this photo of my son and his friend. So I'm going to go with it. I could use the rainbow. So basically what I was saying is I literally, this is how I do it. I go through my cards. I try to go through a small stash. The bigger the stash, the longer it's going to take you. So I try to stick to something small. Um, I do try to add a journaling card. This one's a good one. It just has like what I, what I want to remember. This is how I felt. That one would work. This one won't. This one would work as well. Nope. Oh, and people I miss most. That one works. Daily routine. Yeah, so any of these are perfect. Love this one with the my quarantine outfit, but I'm gonna use that for something else. Anyway, like, so I just go through these. Let's see what we can find here. On that one day at a time. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do, you guys. I have to make up my mind. Okay, let's see what you guys are telling me. Um, Hi, Deborah. Welcome to my live. Thank you for joining in. I could use that vellum piece. That's a, actually a really good idea. So at this point, this is looking too busy <laughs> for me. Um, but I wanted to choose cards that I thought... I would use. So the rainbow, I don't know if I like the the reds. This one's just not working for me. So I don't like that color at all there. I don't know, I'm not liking the blue, um, but I could, I saw earlier people I miss. I could definitely like kind of trim that out or kind of cover that side. I don't know. What do you guys think? Something like that. Maybe remove that green. What day is it? These are Kelly Perky cards. Move that here, maybe. Just I'm trying to kind of play around with it a little bit to see, or to kind of balance it out a tiny bit. This actually looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Yeah, the red is like uh, kind of off as well. I'm feeling that too. Um, there is some green cards here. But I really like the six feet apart. Was there a six feet apart? In the, no, it was the blue. That six feet apart thing in blue. What color was it in the back? Where'd I go with that card? Um, let's see if I can still find that card. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's in blue. I don't know. Does that look any better? Yeah, I could definitely cover that up with washi or just a piece of paper or something. I'll definitely figure that out. Okay, this is not working for me, so I'm gonna look for something else. Um, how would that look? Too much green now. I don't like that. I 
could probably trim that out, by the way, and add that between my son and his friend. Just leave the blue. Oh my gosh, now I'm just confusing myself. Maybe it's the rainbow. It's probably like not happening. <laughs> I could, oh, you know what? How about like the, no, I don't like that either. Okay, so let's go through these real quick again and see if I can find something that I like. Maybe that. I just feel like these are just so busy. It's driving me nuts. I don't like the busyness of these, like the rainbow and heart cards. Oh, that's purple, it's not gonna work. I'm just gonna go through these real quick. No, it's annoying. But if I don't find anything, I'll just go through my studio cal calico cards. And I think I might just do that and save myself some time. So let me grab my kit from Studio Calico. And I'm okay with mixing and matching. It's not a big deal. Let's see. Okay. I like this blah, blah, blah. It's probably just too white. Maybe. Keeping it there. Mm, I don't know. No. Oh, this kind of brings in the green. And it brings in yellow. Oh, oh and the pineapples. But I don't know if I want pineapples on the spread. Hmm. Let's go through these. I might find something. Oh, this is so pretty. It's one of my favorite cards from this kit. So, so much. I think I like that it's navy blue with the yellow. It's just so pretty. Me time. Okay, let's see. I can find, oh, this one's good. The Just Do Fun. But it's in pink. Hmm. One might work. Okay. So I have a few here. Okay. Um, maybe add an all white card. So I can add a title. That could work too. And that's um, something kind of like that. And just add like a label here and add week. 15 to that would probably work. And this one is cute as well. But it's just kind of there. So I think I'm sticking to the white with the blah, blah, blah. Because that's how everybody's feeling right now. I think I'm going with this, okay? I can always add color um, as I go. I'm trying to move this out of my way a little bit here. And I'll just work on this first. So when I have something like this where it's just, you know, there's not a lot of color going on, but I want to bring in color to the side of my spread, I'll probably just grab a green label. And I have plenty of those, but watch now. I won't find the right green. But I have a lot of Kelly Perky labels that I should be able to find a green. That's too dark, but I'm gonna keep it aside. Oh, see there, I think that's the right green. Okay, I'm going with this one. So I can always stamp like the week in my label. Um, let's see. Maybe have it like set off. I'll just trim off the side. 
and then I will stamp the week in there. So I might just go ahead and use that same stamp set that I stamped with earlier for my week because it's small enough to fit in the label. I might end up using my archival ink here, you guys. So I think I said it was week 15. What I like about the stamp set is it has the uppercase and the lowercase. So, but I'm gonna use the uppercase because I think I have the space for the larger letters. Okay. Where's my K? Oh, I had my finger on it. Oh yeah, Elizabeth, they're like coming in and out consistently now that I'm live. But throughout the day, everybody's just chilling. <laughs> but when I'm live, they're in and out. It's so annoying, but I guess you guys got used to it with my Sunday lives with the door beeping. So I'm just gonna add 15. And I think that's, I'm not, I don't think I'm gonna add anything to this card. We'll see if once I'm done, if I feel like I need to add a little bit more, I can, but I'd rather like leave it simple. Okay. So I like that. Oh, I can use my tiny attacher as well. Okay. Actually stick those two together with some washi. And by the way, as you can see, I'll use any washi. Favorites, not favorites. I think I have so much washi that it doesn't matter at this point in my life. <laughs> it's like the hardest thing to get rid of, isn't it? Like your washi tape. Okay, so we have that. Let's see. And then I think I'm just going to stamp like me and you on that. Let's see. Maybe I'll need like a bolder alpha. Um, no. Or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I can just add heart stickers. That's what I'm going to do. I like this picture so much, I don't wanna kinda take from it. And I could use this opportunity to add some blue. So let's see if I have, there we go. That way I'm adding blue to my photo. I don't know if you can really see that, but I think it looks cute. Okay, let's see. Uh, yeah, I don't use a lot of washi. I have a lot, but I don't use it a lot or enough. Okay, I need to cover this up. I could cover it with um, some washi tape, but I don't know if I have something to match or I could just kind of use my paper to cover that space here. I think I'm gonna use the paper, honestly, because, let me grab my trimmer real quick. So, because I do want that box to show, if that makes sense. So we're gonna go somewhere around here, and a little bit on the sides. I just need to trim a tiny bit from the sides. This paper is a little bit wacky because I trimmed it all wrong. Okay. 
Let me see if this works. Yeah. I like that. I totally dropped my trimmer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny. Um, I'm just used to stamping. And um, so I just go with the flow. And even if it comes out wonky, I don't know if you guys notice on like my Instagram pictures and stuff like that. It doesn't bother me. I'll still post it on Instagram. I don't care. Okay, so maybe I should have trimmed down my photo a little bit to fit in the box too. Or I think that looks fine. Something like that. Use that. I actually really like how that turned out. That's really cute. So this is when my son got some Easter eggs from his band directors. So I might just use my alpha stickers. I can bring in some of the black from this picture over here and I have Feed Your Craft like alphas here. I don't know if they're big enough. I don't think they're big enough for me. They won't kind of stand out. I think these will stand out more than those. So I might just go with these. So, I'll just add you connect. I think it will fit. Okay, again, I don't like using alpha stickers, but we're going with it. I have so many of these alpha stickers that I really need to start using them. guys it's like really hot in here we have the AC on and everything but it's starting to get pretty warm over here and I'm like sitting under these lights my studio lights so okay grab an E real quick oops What are you guys working on today? Anybody scrapping as well? Yeah, that happens to me too, Fabi. I just go with it, you know? I don't, I try to mix the fonts, by the way. I've been doing that lately, especially in my daily journal. I've been using all the fonts to fill out like words, even if they're different colors because I just want to use them up. Just, um, you end up with no vowels left. So I think this is bold enough. It looks pretty good. Like just doing this, I already used five ease. So basically, next time I might, you know, run out. Why did I put two E's? Sorry, you guys. Okay, so I might just finish this one up. I want to add something to that puzzle photo. So I might use either my Studio Calico Game Night, look through that stamp set, Love that stamp set. Or I would probably look through my Everyday Explorer. I think there's a gaming stamp set. I don't remember. But we will figure it out. OK. 
Okay, let's see. Oh, that's awesome, Sabrina. Editing 15 days of photos. Oh, Stephanie, that's a hassle. Should I should put... That's like my least favorite thing is editing. There's no... Okay. Is editing photos. That's why I try to do it like daily, the end of the day. Okay, so let me see if I can use that game night stamp set and probably like stamp, let's play or game night. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp game night. Um, seems like we have uh, a hater in our little chat room. Um, I would block you if I knew how. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Uh, kind of, you know... Let's see. I might just like trim this out. And just basically add it to my photo. That stamp set has like a puzzle, but it's so small, like this puzzle stamp. I would love to use it, but you wouldn't be able to see it, honestly. Okay. Um, let me see here. So maybe just something like that. I don't think it needs much because the, the photo is pretty busy with the puzzle in the background. So I might just keep it as is and not add anything else. What do you guys think? Is that good? Just keeping it simple. Thank you guys. I don't either, but I don't know where that person came from. I don't even think I've ever seen a comment from that person before. Yeah, you kind of get weirdos. This probably one of the people that reported my lives lately. <laughs> it's like people are so fascinated with being rude and annoying. It's crazy. Thanks, guys. Okay. Yeah, by the way, if I miss questions on my live, it's so hard to keep up with this and looking at the chat. So if I miss anything, you can always DM me on Instagram. I always reply. Thank you guys for blocking the intruder. <laughs> okay, so I might use that again, that game night stamp set. Kind of just, I don't know. Oh. Wait, maybe I can use this, like the Fun Plus Games. That's cute. But then I'm like kind of repeating myself with the black, stamping on white with black. I don't know, I have the tendency to do that a lot. But we're gonna try it. Maybe I'll just stamp it and see if I like it or not. So I was thinking to stamp the Fun Plus Games. And then stamp that little, do they call this like the council, not console? Is that what they call them? I don't know. My kids till today, I can't figure out if they have a PlayStation or if they have an Xbox or, I don't know. I just play games with them, that's it. 
Oh, the Let Us Play? Or Let's Play. That one would work, like, at the top. Oh, you guys. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'll just trim this out first and then add it and see if I like it or not. Okay. So, I could add that. And I could stamp the Let's Play directly on my photo. I don't remember if these were already two separate words or did I trim that out? No, they probably were. Oh, did it again. I don't like to use the scrapbook.com directly on my photos because it gets really slippery and it doesn't dry. It takes forever. Um, ooh, I love that, Mariska. That's so good. You should share that with me. Tag me or something in, on Instagram. I'd love to see it. Oh yeah, they Stephanie, I saw that. I think the creative team is getting that stamp set. I'm not sure. But I'm really excited for it. For this switch. I know... Um, there's going to be some a lot of quarantining stamps coming out, by the way. So keep your eye out for those. And they're really good. The gaming stamp is one of my favorites from Studio Calico because we like play game boards. We play, I play with the kids on whatever they want to play. I try everything, you guys. Sometimes some of the games I'm just like, really? I don't want to play this. But and we do puzzles and board games. So this stamp set is just perfect kind of show you I really like it and it has all the little like the dominoes the board games the dice and that's a puzzle you can see I've used it a lot because I always document puzzles cards just really good stamp set to have if you play games or your kids do and you document it it's a great little stamp okay awesome I'd love to see it I still watch a lot of YouTubers, even if they're not speaking English, by the way. So I don't have a problem with that. I know um, one of the ladies I follow on Instagram and YouTube, she speaks in French. She's French, and I still watch her YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't mind. Even though I don't understand anything, but I'll watch it. Um... Hi, Ashley. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining in. I will post this on replay for sure. So I'll make, you know, if you want to see the full video, definitely recommend to come back and check it out. I'm trying to see, I could add something to my photo here, or not my photo, my card. Um, so let's get those stickers out again. This is a good time if I had something in white. That that green is beautiful, but it's a little bit dark. Oh, look. This one says, let's stay home, and it's in that blue. So it's a good way to bring in that blue. So let's try that. Just kind of add it right under, what day is it? Something like that and brings in the blue with the green, and that way we're matching. Good night, Mariska. Hopefully I'll see you next live or next weekend. Um, and actually just talking about the stamps and the stickers and everything, I do have, or I did see one of these dies have like games. Let's play games or something. Um, let's see if I can find it. I don't even know what color it's in, but if I can find it, I will add it. What does that say? 
Nope. I could actually add that quarantined life right here. What do you guys think? Maybe add a little something here too and then finish it up. Oh, Lindsay, I don't care when, um, I've shared this before, like I have daily journal and I add everything in my daily journal. Um, I document a lot of these photos in my traveler's notebook with journaling. So I don't mind if I don't have a lot of journaling going on. Um, like something like this, I could definitely like remove this, let's say, and add a journaling card, but they're kind of like everything kind of represents what's going on. And again, it's in my daily journal and my traveler's notebooks. Oh, cool. Thank you, Fabi. That's awesome. Hey, Claudia. And I'll repost this, by the way. I did mention that. Okay. So I'll probably just stick that here. I like how that looks. And maybe call my layout done. And you shouldn't feel guilty about, Lindsay, about not adding enough journaling. I've said this before. A lot of scrapbookers think that if you don't add journaling to your spreads, then you're not scrapbooking the moment. And I think that's just wrong. There's no rules. Just do you. Add it if you want to. Don't add it if you don't want to. It's not a big deal. And like I said before, if you work in multiple projects, you don't have to go in depth. I know a lot of like scrapbookers like to, you know, go into detail and that's amazing. That's great. But I'm not really good at documenting or journaling about a story, if that makes sense. So I just go with the flow. And most of my journaling is facts, by the way. Like, it's not in depth. Let me get this straight. But I think that's it, you guys. Two spreads. That was really good. I'm trying to get this straight on camera. I don't know why. It seems like my camera's off and not straight. Yeah, exactly, Karen. I feel the same way. It's like, you don't have to have in-depth journaling to document your photos, especially in a project life. I always feel like if you're gonna sit there and type out a whole page of journaling in your project life, then it's gonna take you forever to finish your project. Um, I, you mean this? This is not, I just stuck stickers down. I thought you were talking about my journaling. Oh, my, t typically the journaling I add to my photos. I can't remember what size I use, but I can look it up. If you DM me on Instagram, I'll look it up and let you know the size. It is supposed to be fun, Wendy, and I totally agree. I always say, um, you know, a lot of crafters throw shade at each other. Like, oh, you know, she's documenting in a traveler's notebook and that's not scrapbooking or um, I hate the newer scrapbookers and how they've changed scrapbooking. There is no certain way to scrapbook. I mean, come on, we started as a teen. I started by sticking down magazine pictures and uh, writing silly things, you know, and who said journaling is a have to or a not? You said nobody it's nobody's business how you document your photos how you document your moments i see a lot of projects online where it's just journaling and there's not even a picture and i still think it's beautiful so you know you do you um i recommend like what i've learned throughout the years is to do what i like and not care you know i before i even started crap like um sharing my spreads online um i was always worried like what would people think because i don't journal as much or what would people think because i don't you know slab on a lot of embellishments but the response was amazing and you know why it's because i just did my thing and wasn't doing what other people expect me to do if that makes sense so just go with the flow you know do your own style 
find your style. Yes, spread the love. <laughs> That's so sweet, Allie. <laughs> exactly, Summer. I just get things done. I That's my motto in life, by the way. Like, if I want something done, I'll do it myself. And it makes me so happy to go through my project life when it's done, my album. And I don't look at a layout and say, oh, I should have put more embellishments or, oh, I should have journaled more. That never happened to me. So it's basically, you know, I look through them and I look at the pictures and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at Sabine. She was so young or, oh, I remember that moment when Leith did this or my husband did that or whatever the case is. I never look back and say, oh, I wish I did that. I'm just happy to get it done and documented. And I always say this, by the way, if you take the picture the right way, it will represent the story. Your pictures are telling the story. So you don't really have to go in depth. You guys are awesome. That's so sweet, Elizabeth. <laughs> My husband is not a big photo taker and he travels a lot for work. So most of the time it's the three of us. And when he's home, he doesn't take a lot of pictures. It's not his thing and I'm okay with that. My daughter doesn't like to take a lot of pictures either. Um, if you notice, usually her pictures, she's not looking at the camera. And when she does, it's, I, I have to take at least 10 just to get a smile from her. So, I'm okay with that. Not everybody's into picture taking. I have a brother who refuses to take a picture. And when I do, he makes a silly face. And when I document it and post it on Instagram, he always calls me. He's like, I can't believe you used that picture of me. And I'm like, oh, you should have taken, you know, you should have smiled. <laughs> but I think that's it, you guys. We are at the two hour mark. I really love how these spreads came together. I will post Instagram pictures. I can't believe I'm like, I got two spreads done, which is awesome. Now I can kind of jump to week 16, probably work on my project life next week. I really want to catch up. What week are we at anyway in project life? I can't even remember. <laughs> Sabrina, you're so sweet. <laughs> Yeah, it's like kids, you know, anyway, adults and kids. Some just don't like taking pictures and that's okay. What day is it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> By the way, um, real quick before I sign off, my daughter the other day was like, what day is it? I was like, really, are you kidding? Or because we, it's like a kind of joke going on. And she's like, no, no, for real. Like I have lost time of like track of time of day, of everything. I don't even know if it's night, morning, evening. <laughs> and it's so true, we're all like that. Oh yeah, what are we like, day 70 at home? Sure is. Actually went to Kroger's yesterday for the first time since March. And you guys, I just didn't feel right. <laughs> I felt so odd. I did not like that um, grocery run at all. And I ran in because I forgot something in my pickup order, but I don't know. It's going to be weird after God knows how long in leaving the house. But I wanted to thank you guys for joining. You guys are awesome. This has become, I don't know, something that I look forward to every week. I just appreciate every single one of you guys that come to watch my live watch my videos, the likes, the comments. You guys are awesome. By the way, YouTube changed where you can add your comment, which is so annoying. So if you used to squirrel all the way down to add your comment, now it's like in right underneath the description box, just in case you guys didn't know. But I just wanted to thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you. Don't forget, I have a give giveaway on my Instagram. So definitely go over there be a part of that giveaway. It ends tomorrow at noon Eastern time. And 
Persnickety Prince is having a sale next week on their 4x8s. So if you're interested in that, definitely check them out as well. This is not sponsored, you guys. <laughs> I don't work for Prisnickety's prints, but you guys know I get all my larger prints done there. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, hopefully I'll be here next Sunday and maybe we'll work on something different next Sunday. Thank you, Carol. I love being here. I love crafting. I love crafting with you guys. I appreciate all of you and your support. You guys are awesome sauce. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate you all. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And um, I will be posting a video tomorrow, maybe two this week. Yeah, I think two videos are going up this week. And uh, I'll see you guys next Sunday in my next live. And maybe we can craft together again. So I hope you guys enjoy your evening. Bye, guys.